Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for this for all signs and it will be for Friday the 2nd of April 2021. So I'm going to pull uh, an oracle card, an angel card and then we've got the Tarot Grand Lux here, one of my favourite decks as you probably all noticed by now. So I'll pull some tarot cards as well. So what do we have? What do people need to hear the most? Friday the 2nd of April for all signs and remember because it's all signs it won't resonate with everybody just take what resonates with you okay message for all signs please what do people need to hear the most thank you oh I love it <laughs> she says to coin a phrase love I mean this is self-love new love your heart being lifted it just feels just a really nice place to be oh well um okay <laughs> I've got, every time i look at the bottom of the deck it's for a reason i'm guided to so i've got commitment here so it feels like a love commitment hmm i love the expression there you know somebody just feels so content you know what do we have angels what's the message for friday the 2nd of april 2021 i've got take action so worth something worth considering here that's going to happen okay what do we have please what is the message for friday the 2nd of april 2021 message for Friday the 2nd of April 2021 six of wands ace of cups very nice Oh, I, I don't normally get reversals and I don't know why I mean there's reversals in other, de other decks but generally not in this one however I've got the four of coins reversed okay let's go with it <laughs> justice judgment two of swords oh wow Two of Cups. Okay, just give me a moment, please. I've got justice and the six of wands which is card of victory putting a challenging situation behind you it feels whatever has gone on here maybe some of you have been dealing with legal situations government institutions you might have had some kind of legal decision given to you which allows you to put a, the past behind you the difficulty behind you and claim some kind of victory i mean this is about claiming some kind of victory over a challenging situation and for some of you it could be a legal one you know there's an energy here with the six of wands of I'm getting balance back in my life. So, I mean, whatever this justice is, it can just be about getting that balance back, putting your energy in the right direction. It is a card of reap what you sow. So it is a karmic energy, but it is also productive energy as well, the justice card. What you put your energy into is what you get back. It's a karmic reward energy. And there's definitely an energy of, if you've been putting a lot of effort and time and energy into overcoming some kind of challenge there is some kind of victory coming your way it feels absolutely beautiful and you're feeling really good about it i mean this is somebody who has actually discovered their own power wow i didn't realize i was that strong you know um but i am feeling the balance again 
or like I said, it could be some decision coming to you that finally allows you to put a situation behind you and feel really good. Wow. Interestingly enough, um, there could be an energy of new love coming to you. I could read this. I could do this reading both ways. Um, the cards are what they are, so it is what resonates with you. For some of you, there is new new love coming your way. You know, and that is definite energy. Somebody new wants to make a commitment um, because it's requiring you to take action. You know, make some kind of judgment call. So the Ace of Cups is oh, it's such a lovely energy. It is a new beginning energy. It is feeling uh, fulfilled. Your cup runs over, you know, with this Ace of Cups. It is feeling happiness, self-contentment, self-love but also being ready to open your heart. You know, as the chalice, it, it is kind of like looking like a chalice as the chalice opens. There's definitely an energy of your heart is opening again, ready to receive, and it's time to take action. There, uh, the judgment is a call to action, um, to, to make some kind of decision or to take action. And it's interestingly enough, because that's the message I've got here. Now, I can also read this as somebody wanting a second chance. So whatever, however it resonates for you, this is either somebody wanting a second chance or in this energy, there's new love coming your way. Either way, the cards remain the same. The element of, yeah, weighing something up because... This is making you nervous. I'm definitely getting this energy of self-protection here, putting up barriers. Um, and it's, a, it's because you want to protect yourself. There's a feeling of just beginning to get balance back in your life or feeling that you're getting balance back and an energy of you don't know if you're ready. You're weighing this up, you know? I'm weighing this up. I don't really have full clarity here in how I wanted to want to move forward because I've been through a difficult time before and I'm not sure whether I'm ready to open my heart to somebody. Either a second chance mode or to a new love energy. And there is an energy of self-protection. I'm protecting myself, I'm protecting my heart. Um, yeah. You're, you're just cautious. It feels that you're cautious, but there's definitely an energy if somebody wants a new commitment here. The Two of Cups is instant attraction. There's attraction here. Uh, kindred spirits, like-minded souls. The conversation flows easily with the Two of Cups. Somebody who connects to you on a deep, deep level. It is a deep bond between two people. Um... And yeah, it is just a powerful connection. So there's definitely an energy of new love here, or it can be, like I said, a reconciliation energy. So interesting energy. I mean, that's definitely what I've got for some of you. The message is that somebody is offering to make you a commitment here. They want a commitment from you. And there is some kind of important decision that you need to make. Because in this situation, you know, judgment generally is a card of this is an offer, consider it wisely. It is an offer to take action on. Uh, you need, and it, generally you need to act quite quickly. And there's an energy of karma. So it might not come around again for a while. So the message is consider it wisely. You know, because our actions have consequences here. Yeah. But it's a beautiful, beautiful energy of commitment, love, but absolutely take action. This is don't put up too many barriers. Um, Because it, it definitely feels in this situation, the Two of Cups feels very connected and lovely. Um, but again, this element of self-preservation, I can understand it if it's a second chance energy, um, but definitely to do with new love. It feels like this is something to take action on. It feels to do with quite quickly. So I'm going to pull 
an advice card. Any other advice, please? Any other advice, please? Let's clarify this Two of Cups. Let's clarify this Two of Cups. Thank you. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. So it, it feels new, love. Um, or it's wiping... Yeah, it can... Okay, it can be wiping the slate clean as well. You know, it can be wiping the slate clean. It can be. Um, so it can be a reconciliation energy as well. But you have so much karma here. There's karma, karma, karma. Um... It's the card of make the wise choice, the decision that's right for you and understand what these barriers are uh, because this is somebody who's not, not, not facing the truth or seeing the truth and it can be causing some kind of barriers that you might not even be aware of but it feels in this energy there's an important to get clarity uh, and take action make some kind of judgment call decision because it definitely feels in this energy there's a karmic energy about this it it's interesting i've got hope at the bottom of this deck so it definitely feels hope it does feel hopeful hidden depth something hidden is about to come to light perhaps a secret memory at the back of your mind when we expose what's hidden we can become free interesting and that's what i'm definitely feeling with these energies um it's important to understand why you're feeling reserved or holding back or feeling the need to protect oneself. Because we have the Two of Swords, Moon in Libra, which is the house of relationships. So it definitely feels in this energy that there is something here that you're wanting to protect. But once you understand that, that's how you get the clarity in terms of how you take action. But it definitely, mean, it definitely feels... It's interesting, I've got to find balance here. Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you'll have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. It, it feels, it definitely feels for some of you. Oh yeah, maybe ask other people for advice. So we have angels and celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies now say it's time for you to ask for angelic assistance. It also might well be talking it out with somebody. But there is an energy of purging, cleansing, releasing what is putting the barriers up here. Um, you know, this is a, a cathartic energy. It's a purification energy. It is the burning of the old in order to embrace the new possibilities. It's the Phoenix Rising card. Um, and the Phoenix rises and it actively destroys the old in order to, um, to reveal the new. So it definitely feels in this energy, embrace the change. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.